This is Diana Sullivan in Austin, Texas. A number of us are knitting for soldiers who are being deployed to Afghanistan where it is quite cold. So we're making hats, slippers, afghans, and scarves. This is a wonderful hat pattern from Tom Pansarello in Las Vegas. Tom did a lot of clever things with this pattern. First of all, the pattern is completely seamless because it is done on a bulky machine with a ribber in a circular way. It has a deep hem so that when it's folded up over the ears it's thick and warm over the ears. You can add stripes right here. Tom also tapered the top to reduce the gathering that's necessary at the crown of the hat. So here's how to make Tom's soldier's cap. For starters, the needle arrangement is from 17 left on the main bed to 17 right on the main bed, and then on the ribber it's from 17 left to 16 right. And you will need to set the racking handle on 3H. Now you want a contrasting color of waste yarn, and for the main yarn you're going to need a worsted weight yarn, typical American four-ply yarn, you'll need two ounces to make this hat. Now I'm using some purple yarn for my waist yarn and I'm going to set the machine for plain knitting. I'm setting the machine for plain knitting which means I've got my buttons cancelled on my river and my buttons cancelled on my main bed and I'm rolling it down to a tight tension so I can do the zigzag row with waist yarn. This is just a stitch holder and then we'll do the hat proper with the main garment yarn. I knit one row from right to left. Here's how that zigzag row looks now that it's in. And I'm going to go ahead and add the medium length river comb for the bulky. And I'll also hang three of the large river weights on this comb before I proceed with the knitting. I'm also going to have to adjust the tension and change the settings on the carriages. Set the carriages for circular knitting. To do that, put in the left part button on the main carriage and bring up the right PR lever on the river. And bring both carriages all the way up to tension 6. Now Tom uses a looser tension and less rows for his hats, but I found that with my machine I need tension 6 to have the hats work out for me. You'll have to experiment with your own machine. You do two rows from left to right and right to left to make a complete circle knitting the main bed and then the river. After the waist yarn is done, I need to knit two rows with ravel cord. That would be a complete circle since I'm knitting in circular knitting, I'll hang a clothespin on the end of my ravel cord and hang it down between the two beds. Then I'll lift it up, bring it over to the carriage and thread the carriage with it and go across to the left, back to the right. This ravel cord will make it easier to remove the waist yarn when I hang the hem. After I put the ravel cord in, I'm going to bring this other end of the ravel cord down between the beds and I'll hang a clothespin on the ravel cord. After that, I'm going to thread my main garment yarn. The row counters on zero. I'm threaded with my main yarn. I'm going to knit 50 rounds and then do stripes if I want stripes on the outside of the hem. If I don't want stripes, and I happen to be using a self-striping yarn, and I don't need stripes today, then I'm going to knit 88 rows before I do the next step. Eighty-eight rows is equal to 44 rounds. Once the 88 rounds are knitted, it's time to pick up the hem. So you lower both beds, both clicks. That way you can reach right between the beds and bring the hem up. Here you can see how I've pulled the inside up through the middle so that I can begin to pick up the hem. 
Now it's natural when you drop the beds for these needles to be pulled up, but it won't be a problem in picking up the hem. I want to get this first loop of my garment yarn on this side of my ravel cord and I just pick it up and hang it on this first needle. And I'll just keep picking up these loops and hanging them on each needle all the way across the main bed. You just leave the ravel cord and the waste yarn in place. Once my main bed stitches are all picked up, I like to take the needle pusher and shove those needles back, which forces the stitches against the gate pegs and makes them very secure. Then I can take my waste yarn and kind of poke it to the inside. Now I'm picking up the hem on the river side of the hat. So I just catch the loop first loop of my main color yarn below the ravel cord and just hook my tool on a needle and just flip it down so that it catches on the needle. Then I get the next loop of my main color yarn and flip it onto a needle. It's just a matter of sliding the tool into the loop, hooking the next needle and then tipping down so that the stitch gets hung on that needle. And I try to avoid splitting the yarn. So this is easy and goes fast and I'm going to go ahead and pick up all of the ribber stitches for the ribber side of the hem and then come back on camera. Here's how the whole hem looks once it's hung up. And a general rule in machine knitting is if you don't have to remove waste yarn, don't remove it until you do have to. So I'm leaving the waste yarn on there and I'm lifting up the machine. Whenever you bring your machine back up, you need to stop and have a look and make sure that your yarn carrier is still in the right position. because.